Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to modify work items in bulk in Azure Boards. Okay, so we can use bulk modify when you need to quickly make the same changes to many work items. For example, you might want to change the priority of several bugs or reassign several tasks to the same team member or um, uh, if you want to do a uh, add or remove a tags to all the work items uh, if you want to reassign a work to a specific sprint you know in these kind of situations you can usually use bulk modify in the web okay in the web when i say web it is in the ADO. there are other bulk modify options as well but in this video let's focus on the ADO page um, how do you do a bulk modify in the web version okay let's see a few examples which will make you understand how the bulk modify actually works in ADO okay let me go to the sample project so under sample project if you go to boards you can either go to the work items or either you can go into backlog so if i if i am here in work items right so i can select the required uh, work items for example i am planning to select the gift voucher uh, I, so what i'm doing is i'm multi-selecting all i'm doing is control and selecting okay so if for example say i select the gift voucher um, items in bulk and then oh, i can open selected item open the select items in query so what this will do is it will open all the work items that i am intending to do in the query okay so this is one of the way which you can do or what you can do is you can go to backlogs okay so backlog in the sense backlogs will have the user stories in backlog but the boards will actually have your work items will actually have the uh, the active ones okay so probably whatever way you want to use bulk modify you can use but it it will change according to your need so if i go to this backlog i will uh, for example again let me take gift voucher so i'm gonna select the gift voucher items alone i'm doing a i'm i have pressed control uh, keyboard i control option in the keyboard and then i am just selecting the multiple items and then i am <clears throat> i just clicked on these three dots so as soon as i click you can see we have many options here for example for some reason i wanna uh, start the activities with regards to gift awards today okay so what i can do is i can um, you know assign it to a uh, uh, particular person or i can um, add a for example if i wanna assign it to some person okay so i what i'm indicating is i want to assign i i want to uh, start the work on this gift voucher requirement currently and i have assigned this to multiple assign this to an individual person so let if i open this you can see this is now assigned to the user that i have selected okay so this way for in, in this example i have just given you only I have just only selected two options but in real time you will have multiple user stories or tasks assigned to your project requirement so what you can do is you can just select the work items whatever you want to assign and assign it to an individual uh, person okay so this way you can do a bulk modify for an assign activity similarly if you want to move it to a particular iteration okay so if i want to move this to current sprint what i can do is i can go to move iteration and select the sprint okay this way uh, so now if i open any of the item you can clearly view this has been assigned to the, the iteration that i have selected and also if you see there is no tag added currently right but if you want to add a tag for some tracking purposes let's say uh, what i did is i just selected the edit icon edit button so edit and let me search for tag tags actually tags so if i want to give a value uh, like gift voucher okay so once now if i open any of the work item you can see it added a comma tag called gift voucher okay so this way you can easily do a bulk modify at the uh work item level so either you can do at the backlog or you can do at the query which is by opening the work items and then going to the query okay so this is one of the option what else do we have so you can either delete it you can either 
move uh, and change the parent either you can change the type for example you have a um, this is a user story right for the some reason if you want to uh, move it as a task okay it as a task you can see now it is modified to the task okay now if i wanna move it back to the user story change type now i wanna move it to user story okay you can provide some meaningful comment and then change it back to the um, work item type you need okay this is where you can do and um, what else do we have you can if you have a, a you know option to add some relevant links also you can add it add a link okay link if you want to link it to a, a new work item or if you want to link to an existing work item so in these kind of situations you can select the multiple work items that you need and then you can just add a specific item similarly if you want to like add some specific fields okay so if i want to add any specific field like a description okay if you want to uh, apply the same text to the description let's say um, uh, gift voucher requirement now if i open this where is the where is the see i've added a comment telling give torture requirement okay so this way what you can easily do is you can uh, select the multiple work items either from this backlogs or if i go to work items if i am selecting multiple items from here what i can do is all i can just do is just open the selected items in queries as soon as the query is executed you can view the um, list of work items that selects the condition and then you can do the similar operation by selecting these three dots and doing the operation you whatever you need okay so this way in azure devops web page you can do a bulk modify uh, to all the work items okay trust me this is very much helpful when you uh, uh, work with you know adio boards especially for leads or managers whoever takes care of a team who who actually owns this right so they can easily use this option um, in real time which will be very much uh, helpful for those people to do or to update bulk items in the work items in the azure boards okay so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you